Hey, it's Logan from Music for Makers. Let's talk about free video editors. If you've been thinking about trying video a little bit more, but you feel intimidated by either the cost or the learning curve, today I'm going to share with you a few free tools that really take a lot of the work out of video production. Now before we get to that, I do want to have a little disclaimer here. Uh, I made a video like this already in the past, and after a little while, some people started leaving comments uh, expressing their frustrations that none of the tools were free. Just so we're on the same page, I have no involvement with these tools, and as a result, I have no control over whether they discontinue their free plans or change any of the details about them. So just want that to be clear. Along the same lines, a lot of these tools will watermark your videos if you're using the free plan. This is likely to encourage you to upgrade to a pay plan, but again, that's just something to keep in mind. Not all of them do that though, so I'll make sure to call out the tools that don't watermark your videos. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's jump in to these 16 tools. And yes, I said 16, so please keep in mind that this is going to be a quick overview and I may dive deep into some of these tools in a later video, but again, this is going to be hitting the highlights. So let's start with Adobe Spark. Now, you're probably familiar with Adobe as the creator of Premiere Pro and After Effects and a lot of other great creative tools. They also make one called Spark, which is basically a really stripped down video editing tool. It can actually do a lot of other things, including uh, image creation and even like website creation or web page creation but we're gonna focus on video. So the way that Spark is set up, it's really similar to like a presentation software. So you're essentially, you know, moving slides around to create a video. You're adding text, you're adding images, you can add voiceovers and video and all of that. But one thing that's kind of unique about Spark is that you can sync it across different devices. You can sync your projects. And so that means if you're out doing something and decide to shoot a video or, you know, record an interview, you can actually start that on your phone and then sync it and finish it on your computer. So that's a pretty cool feature. Next up is Animaker. Now, as you might gather from the name, Animaker is an animation tool. And what's pretty cool about it is, is it provides several, you know, a range of, of characters and props and backgrounds. All these animations and illustrations, they're already done for you. And basically all you have to do is customize them and pick the ones that you want to create the particular scene that you want for your project. In addition, you can also upload your own media assets, so your own footage or audio, and you can add text and change colors. As far as limitations go, you can only create five two minute long videos per month, and you can only export to Facebook or YouTube. To directly download the file, you'll actually need to upgrade to a paid plan. Next up is Animatron Studio, which is another animation tool very similar to Animaker, except that it's limited, the free plan at least, is limited to personal use only. So if you're creating a video for business purposes or commercial purposes, then you should probably skip this one and use a different tool. Just like Animaker, Animatron Studio allows you to pick from pre-created animations and illustrations, piece them together to create a custom video with very little work. You can also upload your own media assets, add text, and export your project as an HTML5 video. Next on the list is Biteable. Biteable is a really straightforward tool. It's, it's easy to get started because they provide a lot of templates. So whether you're working on an explainer video or a sales video, there's probably a template that can really help you get started quickly. There aren't too many surprises with Biteable. You can upload your own media assets or use what's provided. You can add audio and text. And when you're finished, you can either export to Facebook and YouTube or actually directly download the file. One thing to keep in mind is you can only create five videos per month. Clipchamp is another great option and they actually don't watermark your videos. The catch is it's only for personal use. So again, that means if you're creating something for commercial reasons, you'll need to use another tool on this list. That said, it's a very easy tool to use. It actually reminds me a lot of iMovie in that you essentially just drag and drop your different media files. So you can upload your own stuff or you can use the stock stuff that's provided. But basically, you just move stuff around, add transitions, add text, add audio, and then voila, you have a, you have a video. Up next is probably my favorite tool and my most recommended free tool, and it's called Headliner. Now the reason this is my most recommended is A, it works very well, but B, it's free, of course, uh, but there's no watermark and it's, it's good for commercial use. So it's one of the few tools on here that there's really no restrictions that I can think of. In addition, there are some very unique features on Headliner that you don't get from these other tools. One is a waveform generator. So let's say you have a podcast and you want to create a video version of it so that it gets wider distribution. 
Well, one way you can do that is with Headliner. So you just basically upload the audio track and Headliner analyzes it and creates a dynamic waveform video out of that podcast. So that when people are listening, they have something kind of more interesting than just a, you know, an image to look at. Another thing they do is auto transcribe videos. So if you upload a video, it'll actually automatically add captions to that. Now that's, it's, you know, you're gonna have to get in there and kind of update and tweak and make sure everything's right, but it's a very, you know, easy way to get started and it kind of speeds things along. Finally, they have kind of this magical setting that basically when you, you give it a blog article, it will summarize that into a video. I think they use artificial intelligence and maybe a little bit of magic, but it's, it's pretty cool and, and it's a way, again, if you aren't great with video, but you create a lot of content and a lot of articles, it's a great way to kind of repurpose that content and get it to a wider audience. In addition to all of these things, Headliner offers kind of the basics. So, you know, rearranging clips, adding audio, adding text, and transitions. It allows you to change the ratio or the dimensions of your video. So if you want to turn a landscape into a square or a portrait, you can do that. And then you can export it at 1080p, which is pretty high quality compared to the other tools on this list. One word of warning is I have noticed that sometimes when I upload high quality footage, and edit within Headliner and then download that same footage. Sometimes the quality looks a little bit degraded. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but I think it is important to point that out. Next up is Kapwing. Now Kapwing is an interesting tool because they, they offer a you know all-in-one uh, video editor, but they also offer all these different functions of the video editor separately. So they kind of simplify things and break things up. When you first look at Kapwing, you'll probably notice that it's it looks a little bare bones, it looks a little more utilitarian than some of the other tools on this list, but that doesn't make it any less useful. Kapwing offers several different features in both its full-blown editor and unbundled in its various tools. So whether you want to add music to your video or just trim a video or resize it, you can do all of that, as well as kind of the more standard video editing things like adding text to a video and all of that. When you're finished, you can export it uh, to 720p resolution video. The next tool is a lot different from what I've covered so far. It's called Loom and it's actually a screencast and, and webcam recording tool. So it basically records your computer screen and your webcam at the same time. So you know this is great for if you're shooting tutorials or even doing maybe sales videos or customer support because it allows you to show your viewers something on your computer screen and then while still having your face uh, they're talking and smiling to them. Loom is fantastic also because there's no watermarks and it's it's currently totally free. There's no storage limit, there's no video limit. You can download your video as an mp4 or you can share a link where people can comment and leave emoji reactions to your video. You can also password protect your video so it's kind of a unique little feature there as well. Next on the list is Offio, a tool that I think is really designed for short form videos such as Facebook or Instagram ads. Now, Offio actually offers two versions of its tool. There's a simple version that promises you can make a video in just five steps, and then there's a more advanced version for people who might consider themselves experts in video editing. If you opt for the simple version, I think the tool really works best if you use a static image and then overlay animations of text and other effects on top of it. That seems to be the way it was designed, at least in my opinion. Now, the advanced editor does seem capable of doing more you know, linear based editing work. But regardless of which version of the tool you use, you can, you know, upload your own image assets or video assets. You can change the text and, and actually set default colors and fonts and logos, which could be a time saver if you use the tool very often. And then finally, you can export the project at 360p. If you want another animation tool, you should try Paltoon. Paltoon is very much like Animaker and Animatron Studio. Paltoon may actually be the most generous of all three animation tools because you can actually create an unlimited number of videos. Beyond that, it's kind of what you would expect based on the other two, so there's a lot of pre-created animations and illustrations you can use. There's various templates and styles, so there's the popular whiteboard or cartoon styles. And in addition to that, you can upload your own material, you can add music, all of that. Up next is Render Forest, which I used to create this little 3D animation right here. Render Forest allows you to create an unlimited number of videos up to 5 minutes long. You can choose from a variety of templates and styles, add background songs, or upload one of your own. Like if you purchase one of my songs, you could upload that. And then you can publish to YouTube or Facebook, or just directly download the file. Next up is Rocketium, a very useful tool for creating social media videos. Since I last reviewed the tool, Rocketium has released a lot of new functionalities and features. And I can no longer find the specifics of the free plan, but I can tell you what I know based on my own personal experience. 
First of all, you're limited to three videos per month, but you can really jumpstart your process with 30 different quick start themes. From there, you can customize text and colors, add royalty-free images and video and audio, and even change your project to different orientations depending on where you're planning on posting the video. Finally, you can export your project at 720p resolution. If you liked Loom, you'll probably also like Soapbox by Wistia. Just like Loom, Soapbox by Wistia simultaneously records your screen, webcam, and audio from your computer microphone. You can create an unlimited number of videos, and while there's not technically a watermark, when you share your video link, you'll actually see a little promotional message about Soapbox. So that's kind of the catch with this one. But it's really easy to use, and again, it's really great if you're shooting tutorials or doing any kind of customer support, anything like that. Next is Typito. If you've ever used any kind of linear-based video editor, you'll feel pretty comfortable with Typito. Under the free plan, you can create up to four HD videos, and by HD, I mean 1080p resolution. And you can choose from three different orientations, landscape, portrait, or square. As with most of the tools on this list, you can upload your own assets or use what's provided, which are actually images pulled from Unsplash. And then you can add text or graphical overlays and music. And finally, you can either export to YouTube or Facebook, or you can download. However, keep in mind that you're only allowed two exports per video. Next on the list is Wave Audio, which is actually created by the same people who make Animatron Studio. Unlike Animatron Studio, Wave Video is really focused on video, not animation. And with the free plan, you can create up to 10 two minute long videos. There are various templates you can start with, and there are more than 30 different aspect ratios that you can use for the dimensions of your video. Wave Audio has a large library of stock footage, images, and audio that you can use, or again, like most of the tools on this list, you can upload your own. And of course, you can add text and edit the font style, and then export to a number of different platforms, including most social media sites, or you can directly export to your desktop computer. The last tool I'd like to share with you today is Weave Video, a very basic and beginner-friendly video editor. Weave Video is definitely one of the more limited options on this list because you only have five minutes of video that you can create per month. So I probably wouldn't really recommend it that much, but it's another option that you have. Beyond that, it's pretty much like most of the tools on this list. It's a linear based editor, pretty easy to use, drag and drop. You can add your own assets or use what they have. Uh, but again, you're limited to five minutes a month. So, you know, choose wisely. Whew, thanks for hanging in there. That was a long list. Since you stuck around, please drop me a comment below and tell me which of these video editors you're most excited to try and maybe what you're working on. And then while you're at it, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like it. Until next time, I'm Logan from Music for Makers.